or toxin pathways. Okay. Um, recently, I made sure that I got some oranges and some other citrus from the grocery store um, to make sure that my vitamin C would, would work in pill format. Well, I don't recommend taking vitamin C supplements uh, because it's mainly just ascorbic acid, and that's just one part of vitamin C. It's the the outer layer of the, the vitamin C molecule. Uh, so you should get your vitamin C from natural foods, oranges, uh, et cetera, vegetables. Uh, fermented sauerkraut is the number one uh, food for vitamin C, if you can obtain that. Uh, not the store-bought in a can or a jar because it's been homogenized, but uh, actual vitamin C that's been refrigerated, made fresh. Uh, I mean, sauerkraut that's been made fresh is excellent source of C. So if you do take vitamin C supplements, and it's totally ascorbic acid, you're doing your you're, you're going backwards. It's going to actually deplete you of vitamin C. <laughs> so I wouldn't, I would stay away from vitamin C supplements. Uh, they're not, they're not complete. It, it needs to be consumed in its entirety, which is food. So how about vitamin B? Vitamin B is very necessary. Uh, again, it a lot of vitamins are synthetic, which which aren't good for you. I would recommend vitamin B in vegetable capsules or uh, uh, through. Uh, uh, natural sources, especially vitamin B12 uh, should be from red meat or chicken. Uh, uh, so it's hard to find. Usually uh, these vitamins, if, if they have a high percentage of each vitamin in there, you, I mean like a thousand percent, you know, 800 percent of your daily required recommendation then it's probably synthetic uh you probably should probably stay away from those uh that goes for any vitamin now minerals you're probably okay uh they're not they're usually not <laughs> not synthetic minerals uh, so you're okay on most most minerals so i got trace mineral droplets here do you take those? Yeah, I take a, a trace mineral capsule. Uh, it had most, mostly selenium and iodine, uh, molybdenum, uh, uh, varies, but you need uh, boron. You need some of those. You need trace minerals. And I, I would say take those daily. Uh, you have to have, uh, you have to consume selenium, by the way, to remove toxins. So that kind of goes with uh, the glutathione and NAC we talked about earlier. So uh, most, most. And manganese is a. Manganese, yes. Yes. So let's talk about MK7. MK7 is the form of, of uh, K2 uh, that's uh, some, some doctors and chiropractors recommend MK7. Others recommend MK4. And some supplements have both. Uh, uh, right now, I think more more people recommend MK7 form of K2. Uh, K2 is hard to find in foods. It's in some, 
some uh, real cheese uh, uh, and some uh, organ meats, but I, I strongly recommend taking K2 supplements because uh, it takes the calcium out of your bloodstream and puts it back in the bone. So you can keep your arteries and veins cleaner, prevent heart attacks and strokes if you consume K2 once daily. Um, Sweet. And usually, it usually it comes with D3, another fat soluble vitamin. Uh, it's uh, D3 you, is probably necessary also, especially in uh, warmer, uh, colder climates. Not if uh, when you have a scarcity of sunlight, uh, very, very, very re required vitamin is D3. 